guys, I'm Katie Nolan. Today is Wednesday, February 6th. Vanilla Ice wants to be your electrician, and this is your Guyism speed round. Vanilla Ice has launched his own... Where is the sentence going, do you think? It could literally be anywhere. Like clothing line, rocket ship. He's guy's a loose cannon. You have no idea. Are you excited? Don't be. It's a, a lighting design collection, as in chandeliers and lighting fixtures and stuff. It's called just Vanilla Ice Lighting, which is a complete travesty because obviously it should be called Rob Van Twinkle or like Stop, Illuminate, and Glisten. Ice is back with a brand new one. Dina Lohan has launched a campaign and is asking people to help her out. She really wants to be on Dancing with the Stars. But unless you're an executive at ABC and you can change the name to Dancing with the Used to Be Stars Moms, I'm not sure what help you could actually be. Okay, this is happening. Ryan Lochte is on the cover of ESPN the Magazine's upcoming music issue, and he's reenacting the famed cover of Nirvana's Nevermind. Yes, they chose to keep Ryan's underwear on because they didn't want him to be shown up by the original. There is clearly not a dick there. Just saying. Who cares what you think about the cover? Let's talk to Ryan Lochte and see what he thinks about the cover. The cover is definitely global, brah. When referring to the actual baby on the cover of the actual album, he said he's chasing after a dollar bill, so he's always on the grind. What? It's a baby, Mr. Lochte. It's not on its grind. It's on its hands and knees, walking around, eating things off the floor. If that's the grind, that actually... That actually explains a lot about you. Gia. A stewardess on a Russian airline, the article actually says air hostess, but that is absolutely not a phrase that I'm going to use. Uh, so this stewardess was fired for posting a picture of herself on Facebook that showed her giving the finger to a plane full of passengers. Congratulations, you guys. If you recognize your head in that photo, you are part of the Mile High Club and you didn't even know it. But I understand why she's pissed though. I mean, one of them must have slammed into her elbow with that fucking drink cart. The Mets reportedly made a hundred million dollar pitch to try to put a casino next to their stadium. But it fell through because, you know, winning isn't allowed at City Field. California prosecutors are asking a judge to force Chris Brown to redo the 1400 hours of community service he had to do because of the Rihanna situation because the report he submitted that said he had finished all of them was completely made up and totally not even well. It was not even faked properly. For example, he was listed as picking up trash for eight hours on the same block in Richmond, Virginia several times and most of those times he was on a plane to somewhere else or like performing somewhere else. Clearly it didn't happen. And also clearly Chris Brown just doesn't give a fuck. So let's just put him in prison so he can see what it feels like when somebody does in his butthole. A man in Texas had sex with a horse and tried to get it pregnant and told cops that he did it because he told himself if his girlfriend stood him up that night he was gonna have sex with a horse. And then the bitch didn't call. He was hoping that the encounter would produce a horseman baby. That's his quote, not mine. And he went into details with the cops saying, I ain't gonna lie, I blew a nut into the horse. Oh my God. Do we still do like state sanctioned castrations? Cause I think if anybody should lose their sperm and semen and ability to reproduce it, it should be this guy. Is anyone gonna disagree with me on that? Also, I'm pretty sure that even if she had called the guy, he probably would have still fucked the horse, because that's not one of those things you're just like, okay, if she doesn't call me, I'm going to have sex with a barnyard animal. And then she calls, and you're like, oh, well, that was a thought, we just had it, and now it's gone, never going to come back again. A game of tug-of-war at a California high school went terribly wrong, probably as wrong as a game of tug-of-war could go on Monday, and two kids ended up in the hospital, each missing four fingers. What? Okay, so maybe those kids will never play tug-of-war ever again. But I'll tell you what they can play. One, two, three, four. They can still declare a thumb war. And that's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Please, would you please? Uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel. That's also really important. The subscribe annotations aren't working, so you got to just click it. It's down here somewhere. 
Um, and leave a comment down below letting me know which part made you laugh the loudest. And if you haven't laughed yet today, I will throw a link also in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your hump days, and I'll see you all right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. Dina Lohan has launched a campaign. A campaign? You're not even speaking English. What is that? What is this? Look, it comes from underneath. Like a ninja hair. Vanilla ice, ice baby. Bing, 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 bing. Ow!